back to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My butternut loon. <laughs> the loon. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and Flo. Oh, speaking of our butternut. Butternut. She yeah, is there crazy. she is. Um, we Yay. are continuing our thanks. Hi, Flo. Continuing our Thanksgiving extravaganza. And we are, we've got one of our favorite tools in the world out yes. that we're going to tell you about in just a moment. But let's, <laughs> yeah. ah, we're going we're gonna to feed an army. We've actually yes. invited the army to come over. No, but it's going to be amazing. So, what are we making? We're, we're making, making mashed, mashed butternut, butternut squash with, with pancetta and, and sage. sage. I almost said prosciutto. It's pancetta, pancetta. and sage. Yes. It it's is it such is amazing. Heaven, it's it's a great it's something a little different yeah. um for your holiday table, but when you, you taste know, it and you could even substitute it from mashed potatoes. You totally could. Absolutely or, or just have them have both. it in addition to yes. it. I mean it's, it's I mean so good. And the so great beautiful. thing about it is that we cook it in this amazing piece of machinery, which is now let me see if I can get this right. This is a tin quart crock pot express easy steam release. Pressure cooker. <laughs> good, you did it. That's good. That's Look at mouthful, it. Isn't it gorgeous? It's you, so gorgeous. You guys probably know we just were crazy about Crock-Pot um, and, and have been all of our lives. And uh, their pre this pressure cooker does more than just pressure cooking. Yeah. I mean, there's so many features you can practically and one of them is build this, a car with this thing. One of them is this easy steam release so you don't hurt yourself yeah, when you're We'll show you that in just a moment. Yes. But there's a ton of wells. Wells and whistles, bells, and, bells whistles. and whistles with this thing that are just fantastic. So, but All let's, right, get well, let's get started. So here I've got. Look at that beautiful. This is butternut squash. That's a lot of butternut squash. Well, um, and it, but it cooks down. So, um, but again, you know, we're we're it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, so we're, we're cooking gonna, for we're, an army. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is um, pre-cut. So many places, so many supermarkets now, you can find uh, butternut squash that's already been pre-cut pre like this. And this is approximately like three and a half pounds. If you can't, um, you know, just peel it and get a nice big sharp knife um you yeah. know we have friends that do that all the time and sharp, i've done plenty and the key is a sharp knife because it's hard to cut through that squash. yeah and do it very carefully yeah. but anyway okay and then now what we are going to use the steam function on this we are going to steam this and it does it in literally a matter well, of we're going to use a couple of different functions but steam first yes yes yeah, yeah yeah so um what we i to do that i have got a steam basket <laughs> you can't really see it right here um but this is a basket and, and these are um easy to get you you can find them anywhere but you yes. need something and, and then what I have is a tinfoil sling. Let me oh, do you show, want to show Yeah, let me there? show them real quick. So this is just because I got... <laughs> I get so excited. I know. And he's like, let me show them. Because I have <laughs> almost an entire produce section on this one steam basket, it can sometimes be a little hard to pull out. So just to help us um, along, there's a little trick that, that I like to do with a with our pressure cooker. It's called a an aluminum sling. This is heavy duty foil, the big long um, kind. And I just cut, what do you say? That's about... That's about two feet. That's, well no, this is about a well, that's foot the right here. Of the, this is the length of how big your, the, the roll is. Yes. Then you roll and I, out about I, two feet. <laughs> I pulled out about the width of a foot. So anyway, <laughs> um, and then you just fold it over just like that in equal, um, Whatever you know, like that, and then you make a <laughs> make a sling. I can't talk, um, and then I just do it like this. We well, don't even have to do that. Yeah. So now we're just going to put that down so, in the bottom. So what what this is for is so that when you pull, you can use this as a sling to pull out your vegetables. Yes, it's super easy. Yes. Okay, and then you and then okay. So now that we're going to steam these. So what's important for steaming? We need some water. <laughs> so we just need a cup of so, water. I've got the giggles today. Yeah, well, today. <laughs> okay, so now uh, let's just, here, yeah. you want to lower this in? Yep, here, got it? Yep. Okay, we're going down. Down they go. Beautiful. That's great. And it fits just Perfect. perfectly. Perfect, yeah. That's, th those kind of steamer baskets are great. They're, they adapt to whatever size your vessel is. Yes, so. and so we're going to put these in there and pull them out later when we need to extract them. <laughs> it's not a tooth. I know. <laughs> anyway, okay, now you're going to put that. We're going to lock that up. Fabulous lid. Yes. So It's so sleek it and just so really beautiful. Great. I love it's, it so much. I love it big, too. It is big. You can give it a hug. <laughs> okay. All right, now I'm doing this in reverse, so you got to bear with me, but I, we're going to put it on steam. Yeah. Help me here, Lou. That's right. We're steam. Gonna go on steam. And this only steams for eight minutes. And then you're going to go down to, I'm going to go down to eight. Eight minutes. Yeah. And then, and then hit. you're going to hit start. Start. And is that not the easiest thing? So, so this is going to heat up, and as this heats up, the steam will build, and it, the pressure will build, and this little thing right here will close up. The valve. Uh, the valve, the... 
the bobber valve. The bobber valve. The bobber valve. The bobber valve. The bobber The bobber valve. The bobber valve. And so that will pop up, and that means that this will then start to cook, and that's when the eight minutes start. And it does it perfectly for you, and then as soon as it's done, it automatically goes on warm. So if you walk away and you know you forget about it, no, no worry. Yeah. But anyway, then when we're when we're done with that, then we're so close. We're just gonna we're gonna do another feature, which we'll show you to get the pancetta ready, and then we're gonna eat. Yes. Oh, all right. You know, I just the smell of steamed uh, butternut squash is so it's good. It's so good. It's so, it's so delicious. Yay. And those are perfect. I know. So I know. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. So let's re let's uh, review what we did. So we um, we we put it on eight minutes. Once it once it all the pressure. Uh, built built up. It, it takes it, it it takes a few, uh, yeah. a matter of minutes yeah. for the for the you know the, all that pressure to start to, yes and then the build. pressure builds up and that little bobber valve closed up mm -hmm. and then it's that's such when, an exciting time and when that that's happens. when the time started to run down well it, it it the bobber goes up and then it's still building the temperature a little bit and oh, then it right, starts right, to go right. down but um, right and then once it's done cooking once it hits eight minutes. Uh, we hit it, we, or we stopped it from cooking, and then we hit cancel. We hit cancel, and then we use that wonderful, easy steam release. And boy, is it easy. <laughs> you literally, you go, and, and then and the steam came the out. Steam, you know, and you, right? And then I we like waited. how it's positioned in a position, you know, you don't have to worry about it getting in your eye. Right, right. Still, you're, you need to be careful of it. But, but uh, your hand is also on the other side, yeah, so it's yeah, not going to get burnt by steam. And then once the steam was all released, the little bobber valve dropped back down, which then unlocks this, and we were to open it up. And Chris very carefully took his sling, look, took the end of the sling, and pulled out the the steamed butternut squash. So obviously, be careful when when you know you can wait until things cool off. I he's so excited to eat it. I didn't wait, so I get some you know, <laughs> uh, oven mitts or something that it's going to be heat resistant, so yes. you can grab that and lift it up. And then we just put it in here. Now we we've changed from pressure cooking to, to saute. saute all in one pot. So this, this is what's is amazing. Crazy in one crock pot. This is crazy good. It's crazy crock pot. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. All right. We're gonna throw these in there. So Ooh, this is. Here you go. So we'll, he, we should tell you what this is. This oh. is um, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, uh, this is a pancetta. pancetta. It's the cubed um, pancetta. It's thicker. Uh, if you can find that, if you can't, if you don't have pancetta, you can use prosciutto. That's good. Mm. You can even use bacon. Um, it's all basically the same oh, thing. Oh wow! Uh, uh, pancetta is just another form of cured bacon, which it's is amazing. Starting so to that smell and I, oh, amazing. I also, I know. Um, I had also hit this with a couple, uh, just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and this is going to cook until it gets nice and crispy and yes. fabulous. Look at that! Look at that! That That's is wonderful. Wonderful. So um, that this takes about anywhere from five to eight minutes yeah. until it gets beautifully crispy. Kinda and then like we're going to throw some sage in there to and the then, party. And then we're about ready mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. eat. Woohoo! All right. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of pancetta. That, it, it's, I know. That, it's that same sensation of bacon. Of breakfast. Okay, yeah. so now, uh, obviously, it's it's bacon or it's pancetta, so it's going to render some fat. Um, we like that, you, though. It is, for something like this and for the holidays, it, you want it that gives fat. so much flavor. <laughs> it's so much flavor. But if you don't want to, then you can take this out. Um, that's no problem, and the, or you know, spoon it out, and then remove the fat. But for this, it's yeah. it's not it's actually not that much. No, and it's not. Good. So this is fresh sage. Uh, this it is smells so good. Uh, two tablespoons of fresh sage. No, this is kind of like a flash saute. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't right? take. As a matter of fact, at this point, you you really can we can turn oh. this off. And this smell. That smells so, so good. good down there at the very bottom. I know. Okay. You All right. So it? now so now we're the the uh, crock pot. Oh. Has done its. Thing. I just love that smell right now, pancetta and sage. sage. I Forget know. about it. <laughs> okay, right. but we're about to. I mean, we're about to make things really, really yes. spectacular. So we've got this uh, incredible. There we go. Let's get all of that. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to. I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt to this. Taste it later. So you may feel like you need a little more. We've got four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Yes. This is very similar to like a mashed potatoes, but you're doing it with butter and squash. squash. And it's just heavenly. Oh. Okay, and then, now this, depending on how like creamy um, or chunky you like your, um, <laughs> your mashed whatever, but mashed butternut squash, I'm going to do about a quarter of a cup. If you want it really creamy, uh, then you can do a half a cup. But Wonderful. go ahead and mash now away. I'm going to mash with my masher. 
Oh. And it's so soft. And it, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. I now, can't. what I love about this is that you can, you can absolutely oh. do this ahead of time. Um, and then... Got to make the sure you get all that the beautiful off the bottom. Of, sorry. The beautiful feature about the <laughs> about uh, the crock pot pressure cooker is that you can just put it on the warm setting and then it just it stays warm until you're ready to plate it and um, so that this is almost ready to plate oh it totally is you want a little wow. more cream or is that good uh, just a tad a tad more just a tad not much there you go there we go there we that go. is beautiful all right well we're gonna okay. continue he's to gonna mash. finish mashing it to perfection and then we're gonna plate it and then we're gonna eat it yes. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's so pretty. That is just, I mean, that is beautiful. That, this is, would be spectacular any time of the year, quite yeah. honestly. But I love it. Um, on a holiday table. I it's, love it's it. A and it's, it's a little, it's, un it's, it's different. It's not as traditional as everything, but I think. But I, you know what? I think they're becoming a little more popular. Yeah. Well, and with the help of us, maybe it'll become a lot more <laughs> That's right. Well, we'll do our yeah, best. Yeah, come on. And and slap me some of those on here. Of course, I had to do a little dollop. Of course. Just a little dollop Ooh, of butter. Why not? And look how just beautiful oh, that is. It's so. Lord. Oh, the why texture. Are you just going on one side a little uh, Well, because I was thinking, thinking that, that I had turkey or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> look. That's beautiful. Look, look, look. And look at the pinchetta. And, and the, the little, little oh. specks of sage in there. It's, a, oh. it's beautiful and it's, oh. And creamy and so, all right, here we go. <laughs> Let's oh. taste that. Talk about satisfying. <laughs> That's a, oh, it's really spectacular. That is amazing. <laughs> I say amazing all the I time. Know, but I'm excited and I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. I know. And you know, oh, and those little bits of pancetta bits of are pancetta. so good. But when you think about just the, mm. the, the, and the, the simplicity, sage. the simplicity of this dish, so I think simple. So. And I love it because butternut squash has kind of a little sweetness to it. And yes, there is a there's <sighs> a warmth, a kind of a, but and not like sweet potatoes. No, it's, no. Um, it's, and then you've got the uh, the saltiness of the pancetta, yeah, and then and that then the sage, sage, and then the cream. Oh. And yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. It's a, uh, mm. it's what you call in certain parts of the world the real deal. The <laughs> In certain parts of the world, well, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but certainly. Wow, that is that is. You know what? That's better than mashed potatoes. <laughs> I never well, thought I'd hear him I don't say know that. About that. Well, maybe we do a maybe we'll do a side by side taste test. No. at Thanksgiving. It's a different. It's <laughs> different than mashed potatoes. It's it's it's, it's, um, it's just really really good. Leave me mm, some, please. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. That it's 100% Luna approved. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh good. Mm. And this is a fairly new dish, and um, <sighs> I love that we used our fantastic. Shall we try and say it? Ten, Ten quart crock pot, pot express press, easy, easy steam, steam release, release pressure, pressure cooker. cooker. I can say it two seconds. Uh, two that's yeah. put that on your wish list for Santa. <laughs> Chris, you better get in here quickly. I know. Oh, I forgot you already approved it. Okay, good. I, I know. I'm like, wait a minute. Where did it all go? It's so and this good. makes a good amount. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't, you know, it's, you think that's insanely good. I know. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fairly big meat eater. Meat is a good portion of my diet. Okay. And you know, I always think of like, okay, well, I guess we can have some, some vegetables. But this definitely, I would definitely have this vegetable on my plate. <laughs> Next I didn't to know where you were going with that. I'm just saying. You're saying it ranks right up there with yes, meat. Okay. It's yeah. so good. It is very, very good. It's so good. Okay. Now, oh, now you can get this recipe. I forget what I'm doing. You can get this recipe on howtofeedaloon.com and many more recipes for Thanksgiving. That is world. become, I think that's going to become a, a, a fan mm -hmm. a favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm making this for this year for the family. Just mm. so you know. mm. um, okay, so go to our social media, mm. like us, share us, tell all your friends about How to Feed a Loom, subscribe to YouTube, do all of that fun stuff. Oh. And um, enjoy go get yourself some butternut squash. That's right. Butternut. I said butternut. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You better Bye. hurry up. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Hi, Thanksgiving! <laughs> I better hurry up. Hey everybody! Hey! <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>